Another example it's given in your textbook is see there in a beaker. So we take the lead nitrate PbNO3. Okay, then we added the few drops of potassium iodide in the lead nitrate. So this it forms a the yellow precipitate, yellow precipitate, and it forms a lead iodide, lead iodide. This is another example for chemical reaction. Then another activity it's given in your textbook is the calcium oxide. Take the calcium oxide in a beaker and then add few drops of water in it. So immediately the water reacted to the calcium oxide and it formed a calcium hydroxide. And here what we observed the bubbles formation and also it's a uh, produce the hissing sound. And uh, if you touch the beaker, it we got uh, the heat. That means it shows the exothermic reaction takes place here. Okay, this is the one of the example of the chemical reaction. Then another activity it's given in your textbook is we take in a test tube we take the calcium carbonate powder and uh, we add a few drops of dilute HCl hydrochloric acid. After we added few drops of dilute HCl in the calcium carbonate, so it formed uh, the brisk effervescence and also it released a uh, carbon dioxide. It released a uh, carbon dioxide. So this is also a what an example of the chemical reaction. Okay. So in chemical reaction, what are they? The reactants and the products are formed. See there? The substance taking part in the reaction are called as reactant. Okay, and those formed as a result in the reaction are called as product. So next, uh, I am going to explain the, the various types of a chemical reaction. It is classified into six types.